Hello everyone and welcome back to the Carmen Jordan Kalia mode where we're going to take the beautiful lady to the top of the World Drivers Championship. She's currently in first. Hi, I've got something you'll be interested in. Wait a minute, every week he says that. Are you looking at my bird? Are you want to take it outside? Come on in, I'll fight ya. <laughs> that sorted him out anyway I think we got a chassis weight for oh, I don't bloody well know and bloody well care to be honest anyway here she is everyone it's time for Carmen Jordan yes oh my bloody good call no you can't be that far gone already Carmen no oh thank goodness for that Carmen oh you almost gave me a heart attack but Carmen you're so big and those breasties look so inviting, Carmen, so inviting. Just look at that beautiful pregnant belly. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, back to Carmen's Twitter feed now, and the first message comes from Mr. Dick Insider, and he asks, Hi, Carmen, you are so fit. I would love to take you to dinner. Then for afters, I'd like to stick my co Oh, my bloody good call. No, block key, block key, you dirty, 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 disgusting man. Unbelievable. Anyway, on to the next message now, and this one is for Mr. XOR Kirby 2097, and he asks, Hi, Carmen. I love the Carmen Jordan the clear mode. You are such a great driver. But when are you going to appear for real on the show, though? That would be epic. Well, Mr. XO Kirby 20, wait a minute, 2097, 97, 2007, you jetty, jetty little bugger, you jetty little bugger. Well, I'd just like to say, Mr. Kirby, that it would be awesome, and I know Mrs. Jordan always watches an episode of the Carmen Jordan Career Mode, 7 o'clock uh, British UK time, never misses it, never misses it. And there's only one thing to do when you'd like to ask a beautiful lady whether she'd like to appear on the show, and that is to say, please... Please, Carmen. Please. Well, I'll tell you what, everyone. Seeing Carmen in that fake picture of her pregnant, ah, uh, that's got me all hot and horny. I thought seeing a uh, pregnant lady would be a bit grotesque, but oh my goodness, she looks absolutely beautiful. And oh god, I've given myself a semi. Okay, then on to qualifying now at the glorious A1 circuit at Austria. Oh, for God's sake, this is so boring. Look, Kevin Baggerson finished in tenth place, and Carmen Jordan finished in eighteenth. So, once again, it's time to say go, go, go on the Carmen Jordan career mode. As she started, of course, from 18th position as we switch straight away to the outside camera view as we go down this extraordinarily long straight. Oh, she's already got past a few cars. She goes for a dive bomb down the inside the Force India. She got past and the McLarens. Oh my God, has been contact with the McLarens at the back. And there's lots of cars off. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable scene to the first lap. But Carmen has got past them all. Oh, she's had an illegal overtake though on Sebastian Vettel. Vettel. 
So she had to give that position back to Sebastian Vettel and look at this, her teammate Kevin Magnussen is trying to get inside Mrs. Jordan but for the moment she manages to fend him off. Okay, let's have a look at the start now from Felipe Nasser of course in the Sauber and oh my god look at this, the Haas car has been spun around, it's Esteban Gutierrez and one of the Toro Rossos as well and Felipe Nasser has got damage to his front wing of course. Let's have a look now from Esteban Gutierrez in the Haas car or he gets speared in the side by one of the Toro Rossos and turned around by the Sauber and look at this absolute carnage. Let's have a look now from Jensen Butler. It looks like he's going to make contact with his teammate. Yes, he does. Straight into the side pod of Fernando Alonso. Then gets spin around to the Avatar Rosso and ends up slammed straight into the wall. Absolute chaos on the first lap at the A1 ring. And look at this. The Toro Rosso actually smacks into the front of Jensen Button and damages his front wing. Okay then, this is still lap one. Just going into lap two now and Carmen Jorda is up everyone into ninth place but she's under real pressure now from Sergio Perez in that false India and he manages to get past. But Carmen's going around the outside of Sergio. Just to go very, very wide, very, very wide indeed. And Sergio is still attacking. Let's have a look at the replay now from Kevin Magnussen because we fix. Oh my god, look at that. That false India just spears straight into the side of Kevin Magnussen. He's damaged his front wing as well. Oh my goodness, this is not going well for Carmen's teammate. Anyway, Carmen's having her own little battle with the other false India of Sergio Perez, but for the moment she manages to maintain her eighth position. Let's accelerate forward now to lap 11. Yes, lap 11, because nothing else has really happened. And we've got Max Verstappen, of course, the boy one that tries to get inside Mrs. Jordan, but once again, just to go in deep. Very, very deep indeed. But look at this, Max is still on the attack on the inside of Carmen Jordan, and he gets past, and so does one of the... Um, False Indias, I do believe that's Perez once again. Oh, this looks like it's going to get very, very dicey as we climb up the hill. Oh my goodness gracious me, look, it's like synchronised swimming. All three barrel straight into that corner. But Carmen Jordan manages to escape all that carnage and maintain her uh, second place. As Valtteri Bottas gets disqualified from the session. OK, let's accelerate forward now to lap 13. Carmen Jordan still in second position at the moment. Daniel Ricciardo, the honey badger, currently out in front. And she's under real attack now for Max Verstappen. And that falls in here once again. This is going to get very, very tight. Very, very tight indeed. But she manages to maintain dignity and composure once again. And she's currently in third position though because Max has just got past us. We accelerate forward down to lap 13. She's going for a dive bomb on Max Verstappen. Oh my goodness. She virtually pushes Max out of the way and she's got her second place back once more. That's one lesson for you, Max. Never argue with a pregnant woman. OK, we accelerate forward now. Lap 13, just going to lap 14. But once again, Max Verstappen is on the attack of Carmen Jordan. And once again, she's going to hang it round the outside and get her second place back from Max Verstappen. But Max is not going to give up without a fight, I don't believe. No, he's going to the inside on Carmen Jordan. This could be very, very dicey, of course, because we've got a very sharp right-hander coming up right about now, and Carmen has to go almost halfway across the circuit there, but she rejoins and manages for the moment to hold on to her second position. Well, I say for the moment, because now Verstappen has got past her, but once again, she dives down the inside of Max Verstappen. Oh my God, she's gone off, though. She's gone off. And yes, she's been passed now by Sergio Perez and there's been contact for Max Verstappen. Oh my goodness, they just will not leave Carmen Jordan alone in this race, will they? And look at this, she's made contact with the back of Verstappen's rear end. Dirty little bugger. But at the moment, Carmen Jordan is now down to fourth position on lap 14, everyone. Oh my goodness, and she's got Felipe Massa in the Williams currently. Oh, look at this, one of the cars are coming in. That's Perez, he's coming into the pits. And Verstappen did very well to keep out of the way there from um, Perez but now we're just about to cross the line going to lap 15 Carmen Jorda still in fourth place but now in third place of course because the car has come into the pits as we accelerate forward now to lap 16 and Felipe Massa this time has got past Carmen Jorda but once again she hangs it around the outside into this very very tight right hand up she manages to maintain her place as we accelerate forward now and let's look at this. Let's look at this behind Carmen Jordan. They're like a pack of wolves. Just look at them. They're going to go four abreast into this turn. Look at this. Oh my goodness gracious. It's absolutely disgusting. You disgraceful dirty little buggers. Look, they're all trying to catch up and get inside Carmen Jordan. Oh my goodness. It's absolutely obscene. Yes, so get your hands off my missus. And she's pregnant for God's sake. Oh, we got a response from Carmen. She says, help me, Dave. They all want my booty. Oh, they do, Carmen. They do. Well, let's face it. Who doesn't? Do? <laughs> anyway, so moving on now. She's just been passed by Sebastian Vettel. I don't believe it. Carmen's now down to fifth place. And this is lap 17 of the Grand Prix. As we accelerate forward now, I think, to lap 
20. Yes, lap 20. We've got a yellow flag now. Carmen George is still in fifth. And Sebastian Vettel is out of the race. We do believe his engine has hand grenaded itself. So Sebastian is out. And we've got a virtual safety car for that. Oh my goodness gracious me. So the virtual safety car has been deployed. And for the first time I've ever seen on uh, this game, the actual safety car itself came out just one lap after the virtual safety car. So this is now going to lap 21 now. So the full safety car has come out. So Carmen has got to reduce her pace as she does so quite superbly. And oh my God, look at this. Someone's just come out of the pits. It's Lewis Hamilton. But of course, Carmen's under safety car conditions, so she cannot catch up to Lewis but there's a safety car just ahead as we accelerate forward down to lap 22 and Carmen Jordan oh my god she goes wide on the grass almost hits the barrier but she's used this opportunity to come into the pits of course while under the safety car conditions she's currently on the soft tyre and I think she's going to go on to the is it the medium tyre now for the rest of the stint no she goes for the super soft of course there's not many laps to go this is real ballsy from Carmen Jordan once again so the super soft tyre should hopefully get Carmen to the end of the Grand Prix. This is lap 22 now. So where is she going to end up as she rejoins the field under the safety car conditions? She is in 12th position now, just ahead of Pascal Wehrlein and just behind Kimi Reichmann as we accelerate forward out to lap 24. The safety car has come in and it's time for Carmen Jordan to pile on the beans once more. And it's Reichmann. She goes down the inside of Reichmann. Oh my God, what a fantastic manoeuvre. And she gets Massa as well. She's already up into 10th place. She has points. There's Nazar. Oh God, look at this. This is going to get very, very dicey. Gutierrez tries to get out of the way as well. And we've got Carlos Sainz just ahead. Just ahead. We've got this very, very tight ride down. She dives down the inside of all three cars and she gets up. Oh my God, there's contact though. Contact with the Force India. But she's okay, everyone. The pregnant lady is okay. And look at this a response from Carmen. She says, holy crap. Yes, that was a little bit dicey. Uh, for you there Carmen but she's currently in sixth position she goes for a move down the inside of Nico Rosberger calls in the Mercedes and she gets past him and she's now up into fifth position as we accelerate forward now to lap 25 and she's under real attack once again from Nico Rosberg trying to get past Carmen Jordan but oh my god look he sneaks down the inside of Carmen but she goes sort of to the outside of the track almost contact almost contact there's a yellow flag I don't know why because there was no contact there with Carmen Jordan or Nico Rosberg but oh it's there's a car actually off the circuit as you can see i think is that is that k-mag is that kevin magnuson he seems to be rejoining the track now but yes there was definitely some problems there for k-mag as we accelerate forward now to lap 27 carmen jordan still in fifth place he's got rio harianto in the manor directly ahead of her she manages to get past superbly as we're just about to cross the line going into lap 28 as we accelerate forward we're still on lap 28 as you can see but Rosberg is still trying to get inside Mrs. Jordan he manages to get past but look at this Carmen does the Alonso flick on Rosberg and gets the position back so she's holding on desperately by her fingernails to this fifth position at the moment as we accelerate forward now to lap 29 yes 29 and she's under real pressure Daniel Ricciardo is currently ahead she's made to catch up to him but Rosberg has got past Carmen Jordan but we're going up to this very very tight right hander once again she's going to go tidy to the inside oh my god look at this she pushes both the cars wide and she manages now to get up into fourth position fantastic from Carmen Jordan as we accelerate forward now it's still on lap 29 and she's been hit she's been hit in the side pod by I think that was Max Verstappen We've got a yellow flag as well. Yes, it was Max Verstappen. Carmen Jordan is still in fourth place at the moment. No damage, of course, to the car. So Carmen is okay. But it looks like the car that hit her has now stopped out on circuit. But he has now rejoined, as you can see on the mini-map. Okay, so Rosberg still trying to get past Carmen Jordan at the moment, but not managing it uh, at all on lap 29, just going into lap 30. As we accelerate forward now, this is now lap 31. And now we've got the safety car once again. Oh my goodness, because Carlos Sainz is now out of the race. This is very, very late for the safety car. As we accelerate forward down to lap 34, the safety car period has finished. And Carmen Jordan is now in third place with just Sergio Perez in that Force India directly in front of her. So she's going to go for a dive down the inside and she, oh my god, he Jesus! But she manages to pull that manoeuvre off and she's now up into second place with just Lewis Hamilton in the Mercedes currently out in front. Oh my god, there's quite a few cars just ahead of Carmen Jordan though as you can see. There's Button, there's Hamilton, there's Lewis Hamilton, the race leader at the moment, directly in front of Jensen Button. But can she catch up? She's only got one more lap to go. I don't think it's going to be possible for Carmen Jordan to get ahead of Lewis Hamilton. But once again, she's going to give it a very, very good go indeed. But there seems to be quite a bit of distance now from Lewis Hamilton 
to Carmen Jordan, currently still in second place. Oh my god, and Sergio Perez in that false Indio has been attacking Carmen all the way through this race, is still attacking Carmen in third place place. Now the trouble is Carmen should have the advantage here because Lewis Hamilton is on the soft tyre and so is Sergio Perez behind it. Carmen Jordan is on the super soft so she should have a distinct speed advantage over the cars but of course Lewis Hamilton is in the Mercedes and that Mercedes car is a lot faster than this Renault is at the moment for Carmen Jordan. Oh Carmen please can we have some sex after this race please? No says it's bad for the babies. Well how long do they take to hatch? Nine months! Oh my god, I can't last that long, Carmen. I can't last that long. Maybe you could start building. Building, Carmen? Building? Oh, that nursery, I promised. Uh, oh yeah, I must get on to that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I must get round to that. Anyway, so uh, this is still the last lap of the race. Carmen Jordan looks like she's going to cross the line in uh, second position just behind Lewis Hamilton because unfortunately he has managed to uh, keep ahead of Carmen Jordan at the moment. And Max Verstappen is holding station, we think, in third position. And it looks like there's no sex again for Dave tonight because he's got to build a bloody nursery. I hate bloody DIY. Anyway, so just a few more calls to go. Max Verstappen looks like he's trying to get past Carmen Jordan. But once again, she's going to manage to hold him off. Oh my God, I say that, but he's going around the outside. And now he's going to try around the inside. No, Carmen Jordan manages to hold him off and cross the line in second position. Well done, Carmen. Fantastic. As she crosses the line in second place and she waves her hands up high now come and be very very careful on the podium we don't want anyone to know that you're pregnant uh, don't forget don't turn to the side just uh just stay facing everyone oh god anyway toto wolf has congratulated his team mechanics on the pit wall there as lewis hamilton holds his hands up high and says look at this lads i bloody won that race yes you bloody well did and you beat mrs jordan in the process as the lads congratulate themselves like only lads in a F1 team know how to. And Kimi Raikkonen holds his hands up high, but he only finished in ninth position. Okay then, let's look at the podium now. There's Carmen Jordan in second place, looking absolutely lovely. Yes, very, very lovely indeed. So second place for Carmen Jordan. Lewis Hamilton won the race, Max Verstappen in third place. So how does that look now in the championship standings? Oh my God, Carmen Jordan is in the lead of the world championship by two points against Lewis Hamilton. My excitement level has now reached 11. Oh my God. Let's have a look at her final session goals then. Yes, yeah, she's in the purple now. Oh, she's still in the purple and she's right at the top of the purple. Thanks so much for watching everyone. There will of course be more later.